this is our neighborhood. In spite of the way it looks, it isn't like any other place anywhere. You notice the difference the minute you see the people. Yes, the people around here are friendly. Our merchants are strong on courtesy and that extra bit of service. And they keep their promises too. Like when Jake Thomas tells you a suit will be ready at five o'clock. It will be ready at five o'clock. Anywhere you look, you'll find that extra bit of thoughtfulness that means so much. Out where we live, people seem to be friendlier, more courteous, more helpful. Of course, it wasn't always this way, but it all started right here on this corner. Not so long ago, Officer Omar was a short-tempered man. He'd give you the whistle or the rough side of his tongue as quick as look at you. Then one morning, young Henry Carter, who operates the gas station at the corner of Main and Third, came up to Omar's intersection and his mind wasn't entirely on his driving. When Omar has talked over to him, Henry realized that he had stopped in the crosswalk. So he just sat there, waiting for Omar to explode. Uh, but this morning, Omar didn't explode. He got a very odd look on his face. And then he waved Henry ahead. Well, right then and there was the first link in the chain miracle started by Omar. The miracle that made our town different. Young Henry kept mulling the incident over in his mind. And it had quite an effect on him. He decided that if a gruff guy like Omar could be human, he, Henry Carter, could give it a little extra try with his customers. He started by making Fred Murray, our haberdasher, think it was a favor to let Henry put air in his tires. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Pull her up. That front tire looks kind of soft. Glad to check them all for you while I'm at it. Yeah, yeah. Nice day, huh? That's the thought of it. But it is, isn't it? Notice your windshield wiper's kind of loose. There, she's okay now. Beginning that day, Henry was a new man. He was pleasant. He tried to figure out what people needed before they had to ask for it. And he made them feel welcome in his place of business. Glad to take care of you anytime, sir. Come on in again. Yeah. Oh, maybe I will. Thanks a lot. The way Henry Carter treated Fred at the gas station kind of woke Fred up made him feel so good that maybe he ought to pass the same treatment on to his customers. The first one he tried it on was Tom Smith, who is a salesman at our neighborhood Chevrolet company. Fred took an interest in what Tom wanted, made him feel that he was glad to see him and glad to help him. That suit looks mighty good on you. Is that what you had in mind? I guess that's about it. Good, but before you make up your mind finally, I'd like you to take a look at these. We might find something you like better. And if we don't, you'll be all the happier with this suit you have on. Sure, why not? Would you excuse me just a moment, Mr. Smith? Certainly. How do you do? I see you're interested in ties. Yes. Here's a tray of new ones. Would you like to look these over while I finish with my other customer? It'll be just a few moments. Of course. Fred found that it was easy to be friendly and to treat people fairly. And he found that knowing what he had to sell was important too. And Tom Smith got a whole new slant on the business of helping the customer find what he really wants. So you can see how the miracle that started on Amara's corner began to spread throughout the whole community. But Amara, the man who started it, couldn't understand why people were suddenly becoming so friendly. People like Tom Smith. And Tom Smith was caught up in the miracle of treating people right. 
And he passed it on to Joe Corey, our local butcher. Yeah, I guess that's right, Mr. Smith. Now that you explain everything, I understand all right. I know you're going to take care of me okay. Guess I asked a lot of questions. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Corey. We feel that every customer has a right to know what he's getting for his money and what the things he buys are going to cost him. Now, we want you to know we are going to do everything we can to try to get your new car to you as soon as possible. Naturally, it may take a few days because we want to be fair to our other customers. And I'm sure that's the way you'd want us to do business with you. Yes, the simple little miracle of doing as you would be done by was spreading fast. For example, Pete Robbins, the Chevrolet service manager, passed it along where he had to do most good, right in his own department. Fellas, before we go to work, I'd like to tell you something that I got to thinking about last night. You see, I take my clothes to Jake Thomas for dry cleaning. And the reason is that I know he does a good job and he keeps his promises. And, well, he makes me feel like he appreciates my business. And if that'll work for him to keep me as his customer, why won't it do the same thing for us right here in our own shop? Here's how I look at it. The way to do good business is to have good customers and to keep them happy. Now, we have good customers. And the way to keep them happy is to remember three things. Do the job right the first time. Do the job on time. And be friendly while you're doing it. Omara. <laughs> Omara still didn't get it. But Joe Corey, the butcher, did. Incidentally, Joe had quite a lot of reforming to do, but he found it wasn't such a hard job. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Well, how do you do, Mrs. Jones? What can I do for you today? Well, Joe, you can tell me that I'm your very favorite customer and that you've got some nice lean pork chops hidden behind the counter, especially for me. Well, Mrs. Jones, everybody's my favorite customer, but I'm going to treat everyone fair, and for everybody, I've got no pork chops hiding. But I've got some nice chickens here I want you to see. A nice one here for $1.89. An extra special good one for two and a quarter. Now, you tell me which one you like, and I'll cut it up real nice for you. It made Joe feel pretty good to be treating everyone as his favorite customer. And it made Mary Jones feel pretty good to get that kind of treatment. Mary Jones is a telephone operator down at the light company. Suddenly, a lot of people found they were more cheerful after they had been talking to Mary. Of course, by now, Mary Jones was just one link in the one chain of the many chains that were passing the miracle along. And so the miracle grew, passing from friend to friend, from family to family, from store to store, and from one business to another. And pretty soon, everyone found himself doing things a little differently, giving a little more thought to the other fellow, and discovering that life was a lot more fun. Ever since, this has been a wonderful place to live and work in, with people liking each other and trusting each other. Business has picked up in all the stores, with people spending more money and getting more out of it. And it's so easy to keep on doing it. We don't think we're ever going to stop. Some of our businessmen got up a poster, so strangers will know how we want to treat them. Here, you can read it yourself. And the miracle finally got around to changing Omara, just like it changed everyone else. And now he can count his friends. Of course, there had to be a catch somewhere. The fact about that morning when it all started had never before been revealed to a human soul. And there's the only man who knows the reason Officer Omara didn't explode that morning was because the poor devil woke up with laryngitis and couldn't raise his voice above a whisper. And who am I to be telling you all this? Who should know better than himself? Omara. But there's one thing. Starting a miracle is easy. It isn't everybody wearing a halo. It's just letting the people you do business with know that you like them, that you want to help them. 
It's just keeping your word and being fair with everyone. It's just doing things the pleasant way. And I found it the easiest way. Now, if our miracle got started, we'll say now, by accident. Just think how easy it would be to start one on purpose. Now, you take a tip from Amara. <laughs> and try it where you live and where you work. <laughs>